I can smell it from here. Oh, don't you dare. Oh my God, I would literally be sick. Ah, oh, his ass was in your face. <laughs> my poor vagina. A dab -a -do time. Oh my God, I'm going to <laughs> this is number three of three of the director's cut poll and it is planes, trains and automobiles. I thought it was trains and planes but it's play. <laughs> Why do I have to make it so complicated? Planes, trains and automobiles and I think we have Steve Martin and John Candy. Steve Martin we last saw in The Jerk and John Candy we saw as Barf in Spaceballs. So going by the other John Hughes movies that we've seen, I forgot to say, the director's John Hughes. Oh, he maybe wrote this one and didn't direct it. I can't remember. Some of them he wrote, some of them he directed. Um, but they are all very, very similar. They're all funny, they're all silly, they're all 80s movies and wholesome and very 80s. <laughs> I'm pretty sure it's a Thanksgiving movie, but we don't celebrate Thanksgiving here, so we can do it now. Although I do love watching people celebrate Thanksgiving because it's like Christmas but twice and that sounds amazing. If you like this video then please give it a great big thumbs up if you're planning to stay and you haven't already then please subscribe. I feel like I say that quicker and quicker every time. Comment, like, oh see this is a slow bit because I keep forgetting what's what. Comment, like, post it vacation, <laughs> Patreon and that's it. If you could do all those things then I will love you forever and ever and ever and ever. Planes, trains and automobiles and play. Two days before Thanksgiving. Told you. Oh wow, that's a really fancy watch. He's rich. New York to Chicago. Six. What does P mean? He's got to go. Does it mean PM? Why did it not just say PM? None of them. None of them. Say something. <laughs> say, say something. Oh my God. Have a good holiday. I'll see you in Chicago, John. You'll never make the city. You'll never make it. New York to Chicago. That's quite a distance, I think. Is it really that bad trying to find a taxi? We can always get taxis. Go on. <laughs> I love how they're all dressed. Wait, how far away is it and how did you see it? Oh, it's there. Oh, 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 oh. Watch it. Whoa, he almost had his head run over. Can you not share? Truly you can share. Dell or Griffith. I'm wondering if I could appeal to your good nature and ask you to let me have it. I don't have a good nature. <laughs> I need to use that one. Uh, 20, I'll give you $20 for it. I'll take 50. 50, yeah, 50. He's rich, go for 100. Anyone who'd pay $50 for a cab certainly pay 75. Not necessarily. Yeah, yeah, he would. 100, go for 100. Have a happy holiday. This will help. This is going to be John Candy's. He's took. He's taken your taxi. Hey, <laughs> hey, 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 that's my cab. Hey. And that tall guy's just going to get another one. Come back with the wrong guy. There's one right behind you. All right, you son of a bitch. This Told is my you. cab. I'll Told you. <laughs> oh, your briefcase. Hope there's not a laptop in there. Wait, was there laptops in the eighties? No, I don't think there was. Definitely not. Has been All Typical. <laughs> wow, that's like the Home Alone house. When do you think it'll be in? Shouldn't be any later than 10. Shouldn't. You never say a time. Never say a time. So the, what, the P was for PM then. I thought, was it being 600? It was like 6 o'clock in the morning. Yeah, it's him. That stole your taxi. 
I know you, don't I? I hailed a cab on Park Avenue this afternoon, and uh, before I could get in it, you stole it. It wasn't his fault. You scared the bejesus out of me. <laughs> you two are going to be best friends. I am sorry. I had no idea that was your cab. Look at his mustache. Let me make it up to you somehow, huh, please? How about a nice hot dog and a beer? I'm kind of picky about what I eat. Yeah, rich people are. Just let me know. I'm here. <laughs> I knew I knew you. He's got like perfect teeth. I have a first class ticket. You have a coach seat assignment. It's not that big a deal. Save your boarding pass and you'll get a refund on the difference. I don't want a refund. He wants first class. What a snob. I had just about enough of you. Now take your seat. Oh, you had about enough of me. You're gonna get thrown off the plane. I can't wait to see what happens next. Is this a coincidence or what? <laughs> I knew it. <laughs> I actually thought he was going to get thrown off the plane though but also John Candy was going to get thrown off somehow and they would have to travel together to Chicago on a train and a car Del Griffith Del Griffith American Light and Fixture Director of Sales Shower Curtain Ring Division Shower Curtain Ring Division I sell shower curtain rings Wow Best in the world Really? And you are? Uh, Neil Page Neil Page, pleased to meet you Neil and Del Okay Uh Look, I don't want to be rude, but uh, I'm not much of a <laughs> Please don't let me stand in your way. The last thing I want to be remembered as is an annoying blabbermouth. He's so lovely. <laughs> Such a nice man. And some chowder head who doesn't know when to keep his big tramp shut. If you catch me running off of the mouth, just give me a poke in the chops. <laughs> <laughs> hey, who's that man? I recognize him. Oh! Yeah. Oh, that feels good. That <laughs> I'm telling stinks. I can smell it from here. <sighs> oh, don't you dare. Oh my God, I would literally be sick. I would be sick. Oh, oh. That feels <laughs> Imagine the feet dandruff that's coming off his sock. <laughs> yeah, that man there, I know him. Who is he? Six bucks in my right nut says we're not landing in Chicago. Oh yeah, okay, that's what's going to happen. Such a nice house. I'm in Wichita. Wichita, Kansas? Are you alright? What happened? Oh, I know where that is because of vacation. A little trouble on the home front. I really don't think that's any of your concern. But you two are going to get... You two are going to get to Chicago together. You'd have more of a chance to find a three-legged ballerina than you would a hotel room. Yeah, he's right. You're saying I could be stuck in Wichita? Yeah. I'm saying you are stuck in Wichita. It's very smart. Hi, I was wondering if you had any rooms available for tonight. Oh, I'm sorry. All right. Do you know of any other motel? Oh, dear. Well, welcome to Wichita. What's he doing home alone? He's got a band with a truck. That's what you need. I know the manager pretty well. I sold him some rings for his curtains. Uh, if you want to pick up the cab fare, I'll make sure you get a room for the night. <laughs> Sounds like a plan. Go for it. Yeah, go for it. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, grab it into this thing, will you? See what I mean? It's a wholesome, lovely family movie. Wow, what kind of tax is that? Fancy one. There's boobies. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what a dump. Stick with me. Stick with me. I would. He's got street smarts. You don't. No bare feet. <laughs> That's the kind of rule I like. How the hell are you? Well, I'm still a million bucks shy of being a millionaire. <laughs> Me too. Me too. Fucking the storm brought us here. I know all oh, about your it. Your cards are always getting mixed up. Half your flight booked in order. You got the wrong card. Last room in the complex. I mean, sh together. Share. Together, yeah. You're sharing a bed. <laughs> Well, at least it's a bed. You'll be fine. Just tell him to keep his socks on. <laughs> you want to take a shower? No. <gasps> Together. No, I meant if you want to go first. Right? <laughs> oh, <laughs> I know. <laughs> This is the best thing ever. <laughs> oh dear lord, who is that? Oh yeah, that bed. 
Are, are they real? No way they're real. Who would like a vibrating bed? What the actual hell? Oh, God. <laughs> oh. Just go to bed wet, that'll teach him. I thought, I thought you needed to sleep. Oh, God, what's he scratching? It sounds like sandpaper. Oh my god! <laughs> I would be raging! <laughs> well, who told you to book a room? I did out of the goodness of my dumb old heart! Boy, you're an ungrateful jackass! Yeah, he is trying to help here. <laughs> Didn't that give you some sort of clue? Like, hey, maybe this guy's not enjoying it? It's okay. They're just having a lover's tiff. They're going to be best friends by the end of the movie. He's got some amusing anecdotes for you. Oh, here's a gun so you can blow your brains out. You'll thank me for it! What a shame! I know what you mean. The shower curtain ring guy. Whoa. Too far. It's, it's like going on a... He's going to cry. By the way, you know, when you're, when you're telling these little stories, have a point. It makes it so much more interesting for the listener. That was mean. Say you're sorry. But I don't like to hurt people's feelings. Well, you think what you want about me. I'm not changing. I like, I like me. I like you too. Because I'm the real article. What you see is what you get. Bet you feel bad now. Go and snuggle into him. You be the big spoon. <laughs> <laughs> Give him a back rub. Hey. What? They're still asleep. Oh my god. That's gave me a whole new fear. Every hotel I've been in has a lock on the inside, so they can't, they couldn't possibly be able to get in. <laughs> That's so cute. <laughs> Aww. Where's your other hand? Between two pillows. <laughs> Those aren't pillows. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna go all the way. Oh, yeah! See the hands on the wall! I know what these hands, those hands were. What's the smell? Oh, oh. oh socks. Is that his socks? Oh, that's his underwear. That's his underwear. Yeah. Hey, Neo! Take my socks out of the sink if you're going to brush your teeth. Oh, his ass was in your face. <laughs> this is the best thing ever. Not spending Thanksgiving in Wichita. I've got a family waiting for me. Oh, have you not noticed that your money is missing? What are your money? He works for the railroad. The train? Yeah, I sold them all their uh, shower curtain rings. Of course you did. <laughs> That's the What? You know goddamn well what. I'm sorry, I don't. Look how smart he looks with his little bow tie. A lot of things, but I'm not a thief. You went into my stuff last night, right? He touched your bum cheeks, but he didn't touch your money. What kind of plastic you carry? Well, I've got a Neiman Marcus card in case we want to buy a gift for someone. <laughs> Look at his boots. There's not going to have been any cameras or anything in that motel, so I think he's are buggered. Are you Gus's son? I'm Owen. You the shower curtain fella? <laughs> Oh, yeah. oh, that's disgusting. I, no, don't touch him. Oh, you mink. Oh, that's... <laughs> what the hell is wrong with you? Train don't run out of Wichita. What? Seriously, what's wrong with him? You're lazy behind out here and put that trunk up in the back. She's short and skinny. She's strong. Okay, let's see. First baby, come out sideways. She didn't scream or nothing. Isn't that something? Oh... Oh God, my poor vagina. No stop bills a little further than Wichita. Thirty miles. Thirty. That's not bad. Maybe forty. Oh, forty. No more than forty-five though. Forty-five miles. It's like an hour away. Figure the temperature is one. One. It's a normal day here. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, the doggy. <laughs> anyway, it's uh, been interesting. 
That's the understatement of the- It's not over yet. No way. I need your address. I, I gotta send you the money to pay you back for this ticket. Ticket's a gift. He wants to keep in touch and be friends. Let him. Oh dear. <laughs> Maybe it's his karma for being such a snob his whole life. Oh, what did you do here? There was smoke. Did he say he saw smoke? Oh, it might explode actually. Everyone get off. Oh, poor Dell. He needs a buddy to help him. Go on. You be his buddy. You know you want to. This is so lovely. A pretty lousy mode, huh? Look at the mice. You ever traveled by bus before? That man has mice. Your mood's probably not going to improve much. <laughs> I don't like buses. And that would 100% be me with the snacks. Crunching in the person next to me's ear. Well, that might be me. Check that out. One or the other. <laughs> Why don't you take a picture to last longer? Take a picture, do it. Oh, did they finish? Did you not see that bit? <laughs> Sweet the Flintstones and the Martoni family. From the town of Bedrock. They're a page right out of history. history. Have a yabba do time. A dabba do time. They'll you have a gay old time. <laughs> What about stop the bus? I need a wee wee. That's the one. I'm Marty Page, and I'm thankful that my dad's coming home for Thanksgiving. Ah, maybe. It makes you look a little older too. You could pass for eighteen or nineteen. Oh yeah, you could get drink now. Oh no, you can't. You have to be twenty-one in America. Probably at my daughter's Thanksgiving pageant. Those are the precious moments too. They don't come back again. That's not helping. I haven't been home in years. What, seriously? No, I'm on the road so much, it's like not being there yet. He's not been home in years, but why? Maybe he hasn't got a home. That's why he's got a trunk, because it's got all his stuff in it. We'll get to where we're going a lot faster if uh, we were alone. Good luck to you, and uh, I hope you get home soon. I can't believe you just dumped him. You need to stay. Stay together. It's a Thanksgiving miracle. The snob and the homeless guy are best buddies by the end of the movie. Dale's going to end up staying with Neil because he's got like 40 spare bedrooms so he'll get to take his pick. V5. I need a ride back! Oh, is there no one there to see? Is there no one to talk to? Is there not like a customer service bit there? Oh, Jesus. It's not your day. Or week. Or probably life. I bet you've had to deal with this your whole life. <laughs> Whoa. You've almost had your head off and, the, and your hand off. Yeah, Dad wants ambrosia, so I guess we gotta get those miniature marshmallows. Oh, I hate when people do that. It's so rude. Yeah. Well, I'll see you tomorrow then. No. Gobble, gobble. <laughs> oh. Gobble, gobble. Start by wiping that f***ing dumbass smile off your rosy f***ing cheeks. I want a f***ing car right f now. Oh, oh, you shouldn't have spoke to her like that. Yeah, I see your rental agreement. Threw it away. Well, that was silly. Oh boy, what? You're f***ed. Uh-huh. Why the hell did you throw it away? Yeah, where are you going? Chicago. You know you're in St. Louis? How far away is that? Are you gonna help me or are you gonna stand there like a slab of meat with mittens? You're making everyone angry. Yeah, that was long overdue. <laughs> oh my god! You're just asking to get run over. Crushed your head like a melon! Oh, it's, it's you! It's Dale! Del? Yeah, Del. It's Del. Now I'll move my car, but I want you to help him up! No! My pleasure. <laughs> 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 
that's twice you've been molested now. I've never seen a guy get picked up by his testicles before. Oh my god. That cop passed by when he did. Otherwise, you'd be lifting up your schnuts to tie your shoes. <laughs> oh, we didn't have them. You have any idea how glad I'd be if you had? What? Oh, What's come up on, with these boys? What's up with these boys? Is that what happens when you hurt your testicles? I think I'm a bit of both. I'm not as bad as Del, but I'm really not as bad as Neil either. I'm a happy medium. Probably more like Del. <laughs> Definitely more like Del. <laughs> I got the seat just where I want. I can't reach my feet to get my shoes on. Oh, good. <laughs> relax if I got my shoes on. Oh, I don't care to breathe your foot out or leave. <laughs> Be swell to be so perfect and odor free. Oh, he isn't. No man is odor free. You play with your balls a lot. Do not play with my balls. Maybe you don't realize you do. You know what would make me happy? Got a couple balls and an extra set of fingers. <laughs> <laughs> Broke the goddamn seat. Do this. <laughs> He does that in Father of the Bride. I think he falls asleep in a car and then he has his face up against the window. Putting my wallet in the glove compartment, don't let me forget it. All right. You're gonna forget it. Of course you are. <laughs> Keep your eyes on the road. We're coming up on half past the hour. Oh, I knew that was gonna happen. It's not the first time I've seen it. Oh, dear God. He's gonna kill them both. Pull your arms out of your sleeves. Ah! Wow, that was sick. <laughs> Holy shit, look at that guy on the wrong side of the highway. He's on the wrong side. Oh, I've done that before. <laughs> I've done that before. <laughs> You're going the wrong way! There's gonna be a fire now that you're giving it more oxygen. You're going the wrong way! How would he know where we're going? <laughs> Thanks a lot. <laughs> Thank you! How would he know where we're going? <laughs> you're going the wrong way! Yes! Holy crap, go in between them. <laughs> oh. Go get it quick, four more cars come. <laughs> you, you're gonna have to be quick, you can't just sit there. I mean, that was close. <laughs> We can laugh about it now. We're all right, you know. Yeah, don't laugh yet. Maybe we should just get my stuff off the road, huh? Good idea. Quickly. Oh, my back! Oh. <laughs> Go and help him, for goodness sake. There's more stuff. <gasps> oh, yeah, the car. Oh, God, the car. <laughs> Now what? What the hell are you going to do now? <sighs> I mean, good luck turning the car. I mean, they're going to be happy as pigs and shit to see you. <laughs> well, I'm glad you can laugh about it. How could you rent the thing anyway without a credit card? You can't rent a car with shower curtain rings, still. Oh, it's on your credit card. Give it back! I can't! Why not? Because... <laughs> Because when we stopped the gas up, I put the card back in your wallet. Oh, where? Oh, it's in the glove box. <gasps> and now it's on fire. This is like the best movie ever. You know, you could have killed me slugging me in the gut when I wasn't ready. That's how Houdini died, you know. What? With all this fresh air, we're going to sleep like babies. I didn't even know Houdini died. 42.50. Dal's got cash. Have mercy. I've been wearing the same underwear since Tuesday. Love I can vouch for that. <laughs> he had his hands in it. Oh, you're not your watch. $17. 
And a hell of a nice watch. It is a hell of a nice watch. And I don't like watches, but that's a nice one. Do you have $17 and a good watch? No, I don't. I have, uh... He's got shower curtain rings. I have $2 oh. and, uh... And a Casio. That's not gonna cut it. <laughs> I'm gonna have to say goodnight. Oh, and there is a spare bed for him as well. I am, without a doubt, the biggest pain in the butt that ever came down the pike. Aww. What do I do? I go overboard. Guys are more trouble than he has a right to. To be fair, I think he brought it all on himself. <laughs> He's gonna come and get you. I wish you were here with me right now, but I guess that's not gonna happen. Not now, anyway. What, what happened? Did she die? Or did she leave you? You're gonna freeze to death out there. How's your drink? <laughs> <laughs> Slumber party. Go to Jamaica. Have some rum, man. Dig it. Irie, Irie, man. <laughs> you know, and I'm dead and buried. Prove that I was here with some shower curtain rings that didn't fall down. Great legacy, huh? Yeah, everyone needs a shower curtain. Got a woman you love to grow old with, right? No, he doesn't. Love is not a big enough word. No. Not a big enough word for how I feel about my wife. Aww. Wives. To the wives! I don't think his wife's there anymore. I'm sure one day I'm gonna look back and laugh. You think so? Yeah. <laughs> oh, I'm laughing already. <laughs> how, how the hell is this here now? Ah! Uh, that's one way. We have to rock it a bit. Reverse! Ah! Huh. Hurry up, just go forward and go. <laughs> Drive as fast as you can. Far away. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, wait. What What was the limit? 60? Is there something I can help you with? What the hell happened to your car? <laughs> do you feel this vehicle is safe for highway travel? No. Yes, I do. Really? I know it's not pretty to look at, but it'll get you where you want to go. Okay. You have no functioning gauges. No, not a one. However, the radio still works. Oh, wow. There's that. He's starting to look more like a hobo. No freaking way. <laughs> well, our ship has come in! Is your band in the back? Can't sit there. If we can't sit up there, where are we supposed to ride? In with the... Oh, what is it? Cheese. Yum. Crack them open. Again, I'm sorry if I caused you any trouble. Uh, Give each other a boozy. Happy holidays. Yay, boozies. Happy Thanksgiving. Well done, guys. Say hello to Marie for me. I feel like I know her. Yeah. Oh, I can't. I can't. Oh, I'm going to cry. And uh, you have a happy Thanksgiving. Hey, you know it. <laughs> oh, he's going to cry. You're going to miss him. Aww. Lovely. You need to invite him because he's got nowhere to go. <laughs> Your wife maybe makes you smile, but he makes you laugh. Big belly laughs. The woman you love to grow old with, right? Oh, he's, he's, he's realizing. He's realizing. Too much time away from home. I haven't been home in years. <sighs> he's not going to be there anymore. He's there! He's there! Del, what are you doing here? Take him to your home. Forever. I don't have a home. Marie's been dead for eight years. Oh, I knew it. Oh, don't make me cry. <laughs> That's sad. Eight years is a long time. And he finally met someone that he likes. Yay! I am pretty sure that's the Home Alone house. Look, I won't stay long or anything. Maybe I'll just come in and say hi. Stay forever. Look at all those rooms. Daddy! Yeah. Daddy! Yay! And that's his wife. And he's going to be a better person for meeting him. Hello, Mr. Griffith. 
for, Mrs. Page. Yay! Everyone's so happy. Oh my god! <laughs> oh, you bugger, John Hughes. Oh, that was lovely. Guys, that was best movie, best movie ever. Definitely best movie ever. Oh. Okay, forget, forget breast. Breast. I said breast. Forget Breakfast Club. This is definitely, definitely my favourite John Hughes movie. It was just... It was just something I've noticed, which I just picked up on maybe like, well, yeah, near the end of this movie, is that John Hughes likes a messed up car because there was in Ferris Bueller, there was in Vacation, and there was in this one, and they were very, very messed up. He likes to pull at the, the old heartstrings, doesn't he? Because that's like two, three, pretty sure I cried at Home Alone. I'm pretty sure I cried at Breakfast Club, and this one was just like I was on the verge. Maybe he likes to get your emotions running. And he uses like the best music at the best times. He knows he knows when to put the music with the with the moot bits in the movie to make it even more exaggerated. If it didn't have the music, then it wouldn't be as powerful. Also, why are all his movies like brilliant? Maybe from now on, if I find a movie that's either directed or written by John Hughes, then I'll automatically know that it's a good movie. Not good, brilliant. Also, something I noticed while I was editing, and it's not, I don't think I see it when I'm watching the movies, but I obviously see it when I'm editing because it's like, um, slowing it down a lot and I see like every single cut and every single section of the movie and he uses a lot which is very annoying when you're editing and it's not just him other movies do it too but I think it's called like a J cut or an L cut when the the camera switches but the person's still talking so the person's talking and the camera's looking at them and then the camera goes to someone else or something else or a completely different scene but the person still talks for like just a second at the start of the next scene. And he does that. I won't know if he does it in this movie until I'm editing it because I didn't pick up on that. Like I say, I don't know if I notice it while I'm watching it because I get too into the movie. But yeah, it, while I'm editing. And it's very annoying because then I have to keep that sentence in, but then it goes on to the next bit and then it looks weird. I told you it was going to be a very 80s movie. And I think that's it. I just love his style. I think his movies are like, there's something. What's the word? It's just nice feelings. You get all warm. It gives you nice warm feelings inside. That's why he's moving. It's almost like a nostalgic feeling, but it can't be. <laughs> but it is. Do you know what I mean? I know what I mean. I just don't know what the word is for it. I'm gonna have to Google that, see if there's a word. So that's it. That's the end of the director's cut. First poll. Um, and that was John Hughes. And probably when I move on to the next one, then I'll be able to see the differences between the different directors. I wonder who it'll be. If you want to be involved in that, then you have to go to Patreon because patrons decide. If you like this video, then please give it a great big thumbs up if you're planning on staying and you haven't already, then please subscribe. Also like, comment, post notifications, Patreon, all that fun stuff. You know what to do. And I'm going to go. That's it for me today. And Thank you so much for watching. I will see you in the next one. Goodbye.